In the previous video tutorial we have seen something that I like to call the manual installation of Magento. Basically we went to the Magento website, we downloaded the files and then we used the FTP client such as FileZilla to actually upload those files onto our server. Now to begin the installation that way all you have to do is type your URL into your browser window so your address and this will actually take you through the installation of Magento. So let's have a look at another possible way of doing exactly the same and I believe this way it's a bit more simpler and easier. Now in order to follow this you have to have a provider, web service provider who actually gives you the cPanel and the option to install some of the applications. Now if you are using some of the more better hosting services, they usually have this and this is how you would go about installing such softwares as WordPress, Joomla and whatnot and basically there should be Magento installation as well. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to actually go to your cPanel, so this is my cPanel and there you have a lot of different links but basically the links that we are interested in is this one here web application and here you can see there is WordPress, Joomla and few others and also you can use if you scroll a bit more down under the software where the PHP stuff is you have something here that's called applications installer and you can actually use that one there as well okay so basically what I will do is I'm going to install Magento to my web page using the web applications so basically if I click on view more this will open a new page where a lot of more different softwares will be shown here. So basically you have the community building the content management where you have your WordPress and your Joomla and a lot of other different applications there and under e-commerce and business there should be Magento. There it is. So there's all of these other different uh, softwares but basically we are going to install Magento and all you have to do for the beginning is click on Magento. Now this will open a new page where it will give you some overview it will give you something that's uh, what's new so you know some new stuff that we actually had a brief look at in the previous video tutorial when we actually visited the web page of Magento there's the live demo option there as well where you can actually view those videos and there's the showcase on the right on the left hand side you'll find some more information so basically you'll find the latest upload you'll find the requirements and this is very important that you actually meet the requirements there you'll find some port as well and basically if you go in my case if you go all the way to the top in the right corner you'll find install this application button and also there's a drop down let's say menu import existing install so if you do have existing installation files you can import them here so this is exactly the same as we have done over the FTP client FileZilla but uh, my provider actually gives me the option to upload those files here as well if for some reason I wanted to use those files rather than the ones they are actually providing me here okay so basically what I need to do is click on install this application button and this will now take me to a page where I will have to select and actually enter some information first of all I will have to put the location where my Magento is going to be installed the idea here is to use the pre-existing domain and the directory you can actually delete it as it's actually not not needed okay but what I'll do I'll actually go to test and I'll select that domain there now for the version you can actually go back and go to 0.2.0.9 uh, and even to you know 1.17 but it's actually recommended that you use the latest version which is 0.2.0.10 uh, this is the language you select your language here so which language you would like your installation to be in so English is fine for me okay then you have some agreements and licenses you have to agree on and basically to view that you would actually open this link and it will display it will actually display some information okay so there is the link there is the little whoops there's the little box there and I'm not sure why it's not opening all the way oh there it is so this is a pop-up window and basically you can read all this information if you would like in this this little window if you can actually get it to to open okay so all the information is there you have to agree to all of that and that's already pre-selected the next section there is to do with the updates and basically automatic updates whether or not you would like um, Magento to 
update itself automatically uh, then we have the automatic update backup whether or not you would like to have that as well in the settings section we'll come to the admin username admin password we'll come to the administrator email the website title and the encoding key okay this is set by the default but you can actually change it so i'll put mine to test and i'll change my password okay so my name the administrator name is going to be test uh, i'll leave this email as it is my website title let's say my store okay so once all that is done we'll come to the advanced section i would strongly recommend you actually leave this uh, to be done automatically that's the first option there otherwise you can actually go and uh, manage these settings manually where you have to actually enter some database management notifications and whatnot so go back and just set it to automatically so on this page basically all you have to do is select where you would like your if you have many different domains where you would like your your uh, magento to be installed then in the version i wouldn't change anything if you want you can change the settings so the admin username and actually instead of this i'll put admin okay so that's my admin there's my password and after that all you have to do is click on the install button so it's starting to install everything and in this particular case in my case because i'm using this particular host uh this is how it's actually shown so just this little notification here and this uh, two errors just spinning around meaning that the process is actually in the installation process okay so it might actually take some time to install everything depending on the speed of your internet connection and the speed of your server but once that has actually been finished we'll have a look what we have to do in order to set up our magento website after actually completing the installation and typing in your url this is the screen you are going to be presented with if everything went okay with the installation you'll be here and this is where you would enter your username and your password so each time that you want to do any changes to your magento online store you would come to this particular address you would type in your username and the password which you have actually used to set up your installation and after that you're logging into the back end of magento okay so i'll quickly do that i'll log in into my magento Okay, so this is the back end or the dashboard of your Magento online store. The first time you actually enter, it's going to ask you whether or not you would like to save your password. If you're using Google Chrome like myself, I'll say yes. And basically, we have now installed our online online store. So basically, there is no data actually entered here. Nothing has actually been set up as, as for now. And this is actually how we are going to go about in the future basically in the next video tutorial we'll have a look at, at where everything is get some feel of how you would go about into different menus and everything else and later on we are going to explore each one of these menus and lastly we're going to set up a web page a dummy web page which is going to be represented everything that was actually covered in this course all right so just before we actually conclude this video let's go and check the web page this is what the web page looks like at the moment so you can see there's nothing no content has been added there and we'll see how to add the content there um, in the next video tutorials okay so this is how you would go about installing magento using the available options from your host provider and using your cPanel.